uh, we will talk of these signs we see in many many content all over the, the world we see these signs in websites signs in, in paper in images and in any kind of format uh, most of the people could recognize some of these signs but i think there's still a lot of misunderstandings there is uh, still some questions that uh, still are un uh, so the idea to try to clarify what is the meaning or what is behind all these signs and of course we we'll talk about copyright because one of the the things that I think it's the most important is that Creative Commons license are based on copyright. Uh, without copyright, there will be no need for licensing, as I will show you in a moment. In fact, we will the author's rights. Copyright is based in the rights author has one once uh, builds creates uh, a work and that's the important thing the author rights are usually divided into huge rights what the moral rights and exploitation rights moral rights in countries but not countries moral rights are really connected with the alpha rights that you cannot uh, give up the in most of the places uh, rights that are always joined the author and then you cannot transfer to anyone. On the other hand, exploitation rights are rights that usually can be transferred and some rights are not owned by the author because it has been what we call also copyright. For example, when I write a paper, most of the exploitation rights goes transferred to uh, the publisher. Which are these exploitation rights? Well, um, mainly there are four kinds of exploitation rights. The first exploitation right is reproduction. It means copy. The author decides who can copy a work. The other uh, exploitation right is distribution. The author Decides who can this uh, uh, her work. There is a third uh, group of exploitation rights, what we call public display or public communication or public performance. That, that uh, for instance, is to post something on internet. And finally, transformation. Transformation sometimes misunderstood transformation is the author has to decide if work can be used to build any work for instance a an adaptation etc i would like to mention that in some countries that where moral rights exist, we have a moral right called integrity. This moral right is different than the transformation. Integrity means that no one can transform, modify, or alterate saying that it's the same work because the original work has an integrity. 
the other hand, transformation is the right to make a new work, to make what we call a derivative work. And so there, there are differences between the integrity and the transformation right, and we'll see later on how Creative Commons license this transformation right. Really what people does, what authors does is what really the, the law says to you that if you don't say anything, by default, rights are reserved. What it means? It means that an author, just for the fact of building something, of creating a work, has this monopoly uh, over works. It means that has all right reserved. If a user, if someone that access the work wants to work, has to ask for permission. Except some exceptions or limitations that are in all copyright laws that uh, allow a user, allow to anyone to use a work in some, for instance, for education or research uh, in the uh, countries we call the fair use the deal in other we have like a list of exceptions in the continental Europe in, in the systems we have a, like for information for uh, parody for research for education but some of them are really really detailed and the problem is that not in every country we have the same limitations. So, for instance, out for education purposes in Spain is different than what is allowed for education purposes in France. And it makes of travels and a lot of misunderstanding. There's somehow uh, a lay uh, uh, or we could say on that for education you can do whatever you 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 want and this is not true. Uh, a common mistake what we can do with the rights is to what I, what I what I mean that the author once he builds or she builds or creates Work, can decide it to use previous uh, system, meaning all right reserve, or can opt for an open way to share, to decide that she or he will allow to get the work to be reused. But to share, we need a tool to qualify my work, my content as open. I need a tool. I have to tool because no legal notice to say nothing. It means full. When we go through internet and we see billions of contents without any legal notice, sometimes. We Oh, this is free. This is reusable. I can do whatever I want, and it's a completely mistake. The law says that in absence of any legal notice, it means that they are all rights reserved. So we need what we call license. We need some legal tool to say to the people, "This is mine." And you are allowed to do this, this, the other thing. And among these licenses that exist nowadays, I would like to explain a set of six licenses that most of you have seen in many places, not just this, but also in uh, physical works, so, uh, a book or uh, 
video record. The licenses are free. You don't need to ask for anything. You don't have anything. The licenses are there. The licenses are free for everyone. You can freely take them and say that your work is associated, is subject to a, one of these licenses. There is no need for registration. You don't have to register anything. This is a, a common question that we answer almost every week. Uh, people saying, I have a license where I have to register. There is no need for registration. What the six license allow, and that's the important thing because sometimes people think that the Creative Commons license give you more protection. No, Creative Commons license to allow people to do things that use, using the regular uh, law, you will not be without asking for permission. Creative Commons license authors grant you or already uh, some grant you some uses uses reproduction any work under a creative commons license can be copied can be reproduced in any format work can be distributed you can make copies and physically give those copies to and finally there is uh, permission for your public communication. So, for instance, that I can use this work and copy it and place a copy on internet or in a virtual campus for educating uh, purposes or for research. But the vision all the six licenses that you can do this reproduction, distribution, and, and public communication without commercial use, meaning that you are not looking for a commercial benefit. All of them require two important things. The first one that's the most important is attribution, meaning that you can do whatever you want in with this i mean reproduction distribution and com, um, public communication with non commercial purpose but always you have mention who is the copyright holder meaning who is the author or now the new holder because sometimes could be uh, that the the author has already granted the, or, or transfer the rights to an institution or whatever to always attribute the part that is mentioned in the copyright or in the legal that can be the author itself or could be a institution and another
important thing. You have to keep and here if you uh, to the uh, even the link, you'll see the uh, access to this uh, what we call the human readable deed of the license, and you will get the. This is the way you should uh, mark your contents. Here is a mark that we as humans can understand, and also because of the link, you will you will have the uh, mark for the machines. Uh, and uh, something new from last year was that licenses that were ported to different uh, countries to different laws uh, were also port to what we call the intergovernmental organ that was something that was uh, a required for many of these intergovernmental intergovernmental organizations because the license since the its beginning almost its beginning were ported were transformed were adapted different copy, national copyright laws meaning that the first license was based on the US copyright law but then countries as for instance Spain we decided to adapt a little bit the the text especially the legal text because it, every law has its features the problem with inter intergovernmental organization was, was that intergovernmental organization not attached to one of the national uh, to the national jurisdictions. So there was a need for um, an adaptation for intergovernmental organizations. And in this need, at the end of last year they appear this version 3.0 that have two special first features is that the disputes are resolved and if it's unsuccessful through arbitration meaning that the in the text of the license this is an specification than the normal the ported the different ported license where they go to the uh, national courts of each of each jurisdiction this is important because these inter these organizations uh, usually use this kind of mediation or arbitration and there is a second uh, that has already been included in the new license the 4.0 there is a cure period of 30 days. What it means? Well, it means that if someone breaks the license, notified that they have break the license, for instance, there is not a correct uh, attribution or there is this uh, derivative work that it was not allowed. If this licensee fixed this uh, infringement in a period be below these 30 days, the license uh, starts against for him or for her, so meaning that he can reuse that work correctly. And this is something that was also required by, not just for these organizations, for other people, in order to solve quickly some of those infringements if this uh, licensee uh, arranged this problem quickly. So this is this period of 30 days. But there are other things from Creative Commons apart or besides from these six license and there are two special tools that I to finalize I would like also to introduce to you that is what we call the public domain tools and uh, here I will show you these two uh, signs th that both both of them are stated as public domain but are different below you have this copyright sign that it's uh, slashed and that's what we call the public domain mark. This mark is used for uh, indicate that a work has already 
uh, expirate its copyright. Uh, this sign is used, for instance, in projects like Europeana to inform people that work has already is already in the public domain, has no copyright or at least a, a known copyright restrictions and can be reused freely without any restriction. In some countries, like for instance in Spain, France or other European countries, some moral rights state forever and for instance one of the moral rights that states forever is the attribution of the work. So you always have to mention who is the author, but you freely can reuse for any purpose that work. This is what we call the public domain mark. And on the top we have this zero sign. Zero is the Creative Commons zero. It's not really a license, it's a waiver and also a license. It's some uh, uh, a mix of waiver and license. And this tool pretends to uh, allow a broad reuse of a work. It states that as a, as a holder of copyright, you get rid of all your rights, you waive all your rights. But in some countries, you cannot really waive your rights. So the rights that you cannot waive, you license to, use, to the users. So it's a, somehow uh, it's more open, more broader that what we call the Creative Commons Attribution License. This uh, license was uh, built or was created for a database, especially scientific database, because uh, in some countries, especially in Europe, there is what we call a special uh, right for the creator of databases, what we call the generis right, and even the facts or the data that it's inside a database has no copyright because sometimes there are facts, or there are numbers, or there are things that cannot be copyrighted. Once you compile all this information and you create a database, the database, the owner or the creator of the database has some rights. Well, using this CC0 license, what you state is that you get rid of these sui generis rights and the users are not required to cite or to attribute all the names of the contributors of the database. And what it's uh, advised is that you use what uh, community norms. So for instance, in science, if you put your first, uh, the first name of the author and you put something like et al, or you put the name of the organization or consortium, it's enough. There is not this legal requirement to mention every, every author. So that's why it suits for, for instance, scientific database. And that's all that I would like to explain to you. And I'm, now I'm open to all your questions and suggestions and whatever you want. Thank you very much.